The Book, The Five Dysfunctions of a Team, a Leadership Fable by Patrick Lencioni is one of our favorite leadership books of all time. As a team, we need help in overcoming the dysfunctions of a team, so we turn to this great book for help. In this engaging book told as a fable, Lencioni has an awesome section in the back of the book for leaders called Role of the Leader to combat the five dysfunctions. Now, let's go to the story. It starts with a company called Decision Tech. They hire a woman named Katherine Peterson to be the new CEO and leader. Katherine takes her team to several off-site meetings and shares the five dysfunctions of a team. Here are the five dysfunctions of a team. Absence of trust. Fear of conflict. Lack of commitment. Avoidance of accountability. And inattention to results. How would a leader overcome these dysfunctions? And quote. Number one, absence of trust. It's the unwillingness to be vulnerable within the group, not being able to admit mistakes and weaknesses with each other, leading to invulnerability. As a leader, the most important action is to demonstrate genuine vulnerability first so that your team will take the same risk themselves. Number two, fear of conflict. Teams that lack trust are not able to engage in a passionate debate of ideas and instead hide out, leading to artificial harmony. As a leader, demonstrate restraint when your team engages in conflict and allow resolution to occur naturally, even if it feels like you're losing control, and be able to model appropriate conflict behavior for your team. Number three, lack of commitment. Without having given their opinions in passionate debate, team members rarely buy in and commit, though it may appear they agree, leading to ambiguity. As a leader, you must be comfortable with making a decision that ultimately turns out to be wrong. and push your team for closure around issues. Number four, avoidance of accountability. Without committing to a clear plan of action, people hesitate to call out their peers on behavior that's not good for the team, leading to low standards. As a leader, encourage and allow your team to uphold its own accountability. But you must be willing to step in and offer discipline when the team itself fails. Number five, inattention to results. Because they are not held accountable, team members put their individual needs like recognition, above the goals of the team, leading to seeking status and ego. As a leader, you must set the tone for a focus on results. You must reserve rewards and recognition for those who make real contributions to the achievement of group goals. And unquote. This meeting is adjourned. Make space on your bookshelf for one of our favorite leadership books, The Five Dysfunctions of a Team, a Leadership Fable by Patrick Lencioni. Go pick it up and begin to improve your team's performance today. And go to the link directly below this video to purchase The Five Dysfunctions of a Team, a Leadership Fable by Patrick Lencioni right now. It's a must for every leader and for every team.